Today, we're going to be covering modern accounts payable systems and how SAP Concur can help your organization fight fraud and frustration with leading edge autom automations in the AP process. And we'll be giving an overview and a short demo of the SAP Concur solution. Next slide, please. My name is Sarah and I'm a member of the Phoenix team. I'm a Concur consultant certified in the expense and invoice modules of Concur. And I'll be joined here today by Kyle, a senior solutions consultant with SAP Concur, and also JL Diaz from the Phoenix team. He's in the background doing some direction for us. <laughs> well, we're happy to be here today to introduce you to the SAP Concur solution and answer any questions you may have on how your organization could benefit from it. So feel free if you have questions to add it to the chat. Um, we'll get to those specific questions at the at the end of this. Um, but you can always just ask a question as, as it comes up. Next slide, please. Okay. So once again, I'm Sarah. I'm with, the, I'm with Phoenix Business Consulting, and some of you may already know us, but if you don't, Phoenix is an SAP certified gold partner with over 20 years of experience as public sector specialists. We have an exceptional track record of successful implementations, and I believe it's because we're truly dedicated to our clients. We always serve as trusted advisors in ensuring implementations follow SAP best and leading practices. In fact, we actually helped set some of those best practices since the Phoenix team was also an integral part of SAP's S4 HANA for public sector development team. So Phoenix is now proud to be an SAP Concur certified implementation partner and we're able to offer our clients implementations in Concur request, expense and invoice. Next slide, please. So no matter the industry, segment, or market, we all know it's anything but business as usual right now. And organizations are working their way through the new reality, and they're finding ways to tweak their systems, adjust policies, and focus their time. As how we work changes, it's about making sure processes and systems can keep up and keep employees and their spending accountable. So why is this control so complicated right now? Um, in, in one survey conducted by the Kelton Group recently, 45% of public sector organizations revealed that they're experiencing staffing challenges. Some of them had to lay off or furlough significant portions of their workforce, leaving the remaining workforce frustrated with the volume of work left for them. About 70% of finance and administrative staff are managing three or four, three or more new tasks. So Concur is here to help fight that frustration. Next slide, please. This pandemic has fundamentally shifted so many things about the way we work. Working from home is the new reality. It's expected to become the norm for an increasing percentage of us. A global workplace analytics study uh, suggested that more than half of employees could end up working from home regardless of a continuing pandemic or other outside factors. So the cat's out of the bag on this one now. Despite the fact that nearly all government finance and administrative department staff have now been working remotely for an extended period of time, many back-end operations still can't be managed from a distance. So as a result, key functions can experience delays, creating problems for offices and the publics that they serve. Next slide, please. So, while office workers around the world face many similar process challenges, state and local government, finance and administrative offices have a unique challenge to reckon with, compliance and reporting. Nearly half of all US government finance and administrative workers feel complying with the required state and federal reporting policies is a major challenge due to the delays in carrying out these processes remotely. Next slide, please. So Concur is a real hero in the battle against fraud. The vast majority of fraud incidents that organizations see aren't the result of some complex financial scheme. 
They're due to mistakes and human errors, and of course, the occasional intentional misuse of company resources. So fraud, intentional or otherwise, it happens, and it happens quite frequently. And mistakes are more likely to happen when the process is complex and cumbersome, and employees are having to work with less oversight now than ever before. Next slide, please. So when your organization depends on taxpayer dollars and grants, it is critical, obviously, to make every dollar count towards fulfilling your mission to the people that you serve. Doing this means efficient and effective finance processes that keep your people productive and protect your organization from headlines uh, about fraud, waste, abuse, or unpaid bills. So cash flow is always king, but as spending and economic momentum rise and fall, now it's even more critical. And for many organizations, the process of managing accounts payable is becoming more challenging. More than half of companies experience reduced cash flow due to AP issues. Workflows and mechanisms to process invoices and expenses often force AP teams to spend countless hours tracking down and confirming POs and payments, dealing with exceptions, and this makes it really difficult to predict and plan what's going out as revenue comes in. It ends up affecting cash flow. Next slide, please. So organi organizations need a modern accounts payable solution. Modern AP systems need to provide visibility, control, and intelligent reporting, all of which can be found in the SAP Concur solution. Next slide, please. So SAP Concur features automatically enforced policies, a robust approval workflow, near real-time management, and alignment to corporate priorities. So together these bring a unified view of spend, providing visibility and allowing for the increased control and intelligent decision-making. Next slide, please. So now is probably a good time to take a look at the actual system. Let's see what a modern accounts payable system can do and I'll turn it over to Kyle. Kyle? Thank you, Sarah. Uh, that was awesome, powerful. Uh, it really does resonate loudly with, uh, with what we hear from our customers at Concur. So thank you for that. Um, as Sarah mentioned earlier, my name is Kyle Liebline. I am a senior solutions consultant at SAP Concur. Uh, I closely work with the Phoenix team, and I also specialize in really wake up every day consulting and advising prospects and customers within our public sector space. So just really excited to be chatting with you all today on how to fight fraud and frustration using uh, our best in class solutions here, not only now, but also into the future. So we're going to start, next slide. We're gonna start with the demo, right? But before we do that, we're going to start off with this authorization, right? So for the sake of time, we'll start off with the screenshot here, but what you're seeing is our request solution and really where everything starts. So we're automating, we're getting rid of the paperwork here, all these manual paper forms that are typically vulnerable to fraud and frustration. And we're moving to a more streamlined process to request your travel or really to request anything for that matter, such as maybe a corporate card, or these days, the ability to come back to work during these times, which we're seeing more and more come up. You'll also have the ability here to create requests using estimated costs. You can request cash advances. You can allocate to proper cost objects, departments, funds, grants, projects, and have this be entirely integrated within our travel and expense platform. So it's one seamless process, as you'll see uh, within my demo environment. But the true value here with request is knowing before you go. So knowing your cost. So as an organization, you have the ability to forecast, you have the ability to budget more properly before any funds are spent, which is where the real power lies. So I'm going to jump into my mobile device now. So typically we like to think of it as a story here at Concur, right? So after you go out, you know, you fill out your request form, once that request is approved, you go ahead and book your travel. Once your travel is booked, you're gonna be out on the road, right? And you're gonna be incurring expenses. So we typically see that process start from our mobile device. So just give me one second here while I pull up my phone, to switch screens.
I'll take this. I'll take this moment to just uh, remind uh, the attendees about our raffle. So we'll be raffling off five Yeti Rambler travel mugs for the registered attendees today. So those are going to be drawn at random on Monday. So if you're a winner, you'll be contacted by someone on the Phoenix team. And it looks like your odds are pretty good today. So good luck and thank you all again for attending today. Great, Sarah, thank you. So with that, I do have my mobile device up. Sarah, can you confirm that everyone can see this? Yep, I can see that. All right, perfect. So what you're seeing here is Concur's native mobile application, right? And it's an application that's built specifically for your mobile device. So whether you're working on an iPhone or an Android, right? This, is, this app has been defined and designed to work specifically for the device that you're using. So it's really not to be confused with the web-based application here. But at first glance, right, this is the homepage of the app. You can see that the app is leveraging our other solutions as well. So it's providing your users with the ability to maybe book their travel within here. Uh, if you all have travel connected to Concur, you can manage expenses, manage expense reports, uh, you can also approve reports, invoices within here, submit, manage, and approve requests or any pre-authorizations to travel or spend. So it's a really connected application, just as you'll see within my demo environment from a desktop perspective. But what I want to go ahead and do is first draw your attention to the bottom left of the screen where you'll see the little camera icon and Expensive. So Expensive is leveraging Concur's OCR uh, technology, right, optical character recognition. It's also leveraging AI, it's also leveraging machine learning, and it's allowing your users to take a picture of their receipt, right? So whether it's blurry, like I specifically have a receipt here that's a little old, a little dingy, a little faded, but our OCR tool can still pick up the amount on here. And what it's doing is it's scanning it, it's itemizing it, and it's extract, extracting all the data from here. So your users really don't have to worry about maybe human error, they don't have to worry about inputting receipt details, losing receipts. So we're getting rid of the paper here and you're capturing this spend information really directly at the point of sale, right? Which is something that you know most of your users will appreciate. So within here, we'll see the transaction that's been uploaded and the, take your attention to the bottom of the screen, right? Where you'll see that fuel charge. You'll notice a little credit card icon as well. That credit card icon showing that we have a corporate card transaction for this fuel amount. So I went to the fuel pump I swipe my credit card, my corporate card. And since that corporate card is connected to my Concur profile, it's bringing that feed in, bringing that bank feed in, those transactions, and it's matching them up with any receipts that I have within my, uh, that I'm taking a picture of, right? Any transactions. And it's doing that match automatically. So the system knows, hey, I have a fuel charge for $12.71. Here's the receipt. And we're going to auto match those two transactions together. So you'll notice the receipt here, right? So you have an image of the receipt. And what the OCR did was extract the details such as the fuel type. So it's recognizing the fact that the expense type is fuel. It's pulling the date off, the amount, the vendor, uh, the location, and then we have the ability to add any comments uh, as well to this expense charge. From here, it's as simple as moving to an expense report, right? So if you have an ongoing expense report for maybe a conference or a webinar that you're attending, you would just go ahead and move this to the report uh, that you're working on. I'm also going to take your attention really quickly to the bottom right of the screen now where it says mileage. So Concur has uh, within our native uh, smartphone application, we're leveraging GPS technology by Google Maps to really accurately log and then report the actual distance that any of your travelers drive their personal vehicles for business purposes. Right, so we're reducing the cost, we're eliminating any padding from mileage on expense reports, taking that guesswork and estimation out of the mileage expense process. So you have a few different ways to toggle this and initiate this, but for the case of our demo, right, you would typically start it. So when you're leaving, you know, your starting point, you click start. And when you arrive at your destination, click stop. And what that would go ahead and do is under expenses, we'll see that top icon personal car mileage. This is really giving you a receipt for your mileage, right? So you're not just typing in the addresses, you know, and, and assuming that as an approver or a manager that that accurate, that was accurate distance, right? You have an actual receipt for your mileage. You have your total distance. You have the ability to deduct your commute distance from that distance. And what that will go ahead and do is it'll match up with an IRS mileage rate. 
to actually spit out a dollar amount, which will then be added to your user's expense reports. So that was expensive, right? Using OCR, take pictures of receipts, manage expenses. You can also manage your expense reports within here. Uh, we also took a, our, took, took a look at our Concur Drive application. And now we're logged in as a manager, right? So just wanna segue here for a minute and talk about the ability to approve expense reports within the mobile device. So we have our icon here, approvals. You'll notice we have report approvals, we have invoice approvals, we have request approvals. So we have the ability, right, within one application to really do a plethora of, uh, of things here. So we'll jump into the report approvals. And right off the bat, we have all of our expenses, right? So this is an expense report that is assigned to this specific manager. We're being notified, right? We have visibility into any audit rules that have been broken, any exceptions. So at the top of the screen, we have one exception saying, please use your corporate card when purchasing office supplies. So we have audit rules built, right? And these are completely defined and configurable to your organization. But in this case, we want our users to use their corporate card when purchasing office supplies, not their personal card, right? So we can flag that expense. And then as a manager and administrator and processor, you have visibility into all those exceptions. You're also able to view any receipts within here, just as you would do within the, the browser application on your computer. You can also look at different allocations, itemizations. So if I jump into this miscellaneous charge, right? We're looking down at the bottom under any comments that you can see here, and then also being able to view any allocations. So in this case, we're allocated now 50% to two different uh, departments. And then of course, the picture of the receipt as it's attached to this specific expense. So you have visibility here into all of that, all the expenses, all the travel allowances associated with it, any allocations, uh, any details, comments, uh, really full visibility from a manager perspective to ultimately send this back to the employee with any comments or to approve it and push it on through the uh, approval workflow. So now I'm going to pull up my browser um, from a computer perspective, hop out of mobile. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. I know we're leaving Q&A to the end, but um, if there's any questions anyone has on the mobile device, you know, application features, functionality, feel free to ask. All right, so give me one minute while I transition over to my computer now. Perfect. Uh, Sarah, can you see my computer screen? I can. Perfect. So you see the Concur homepage? Yes. Awesome. All right, so this is the Concur homepage, right? Uh, you'll notice it's one platform, one login, one experience. You'll notice that by the different solutions we have at the top. So we have request, travel, expense, invoice, reporting, our app center. Uh, so we have all of our functionality built within one platform and one login. So your users don't have to go out to different areas, right? Whether they're jumping between request, whether they're jumping between expense or, or invoice and whatever that looks like from there. You also, your users can appreciate this work to zero concept at the top. So this bar where you'll see six authorization requests all the way over to one open report, right? This is letting your users know what they need to get done every day that they log into the Concur system, as well as any tasks that have been assigned to them. So if we jump into expense, and we're gonna focus on one specific expense report here, but just so you guys all have visibility into what we're looking at. So we have all of our open expense reports at the moment any open reports that we're working on, any reports that are pending approval and who they're sitting with, right? So we have one report, this webinar report that we're gonna look at, then we have one that's pending approval by our manager and one by our senior manager. We also at the bottom have any available expenses that we've added that have simply not been moved to a report yet. And those will all compile at the bottom here. So we jump into this webinar report, we're gonna see that we have six alerts, right? So uh, by design here, right? So built some alerts, build some audit rules. So just so you guys can see the functionality of what we're, what we're dealing with within the, uh, the expense platform. So before we jump into some of these audit rules that I want to identify, I'm going to jump into our managed travel allowance. Now it's extremely prevalent right in the public sector space, being able to apply any travel allowances, any per diems uh, to the system. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that as this loads. 
So a couple of different options here, right? So um, if you're integrated with Concur Travel, right, you're going to have your itineraries within Concur. So the system is going to look at those itineraries, bring them in, and then it's going to be able to easily identify those daily allowances that we should be applying to those expense reports. Otherwise, if that's not the case, simply manually add an itinerary within here. Um, it really just needs to know where you're leaving from, where you're arriving, uh, the date and the time, right? Ultimately, to build out this expenses and adjustments area. This expenses and adjustments area is where we're bringing in those GSA rates. So Concur uh, is integrating directly with that GSA feed on a nightly basis to pull in these GSA rates uh, by county, right? So your users, they don't have to go out there to the GSA website and manually type in these uh, these numbers. Maybe, you know, any errors could occur, right? We see that all the time. So we're bringing these rates directly within the system. And then maybe your users are going to a conference, right? Maybe they'll receive lunch at their conference for one of those days. So if we check the box for that we received lunch, that's going to automatically deduct the allowance, so right, that lunch allowance that we would receive for that day. Jumping back over to the expense report now, we talked about our travel allowances. We're also able to retie any requests, right? So initially, right, when we first talked about that, we requested the ability to travel with estimated cost, right? So we want visibility into that now as this expense report is built, right? As we're incurring cost, we want visibility into what was initially approved. So we're tying that request into this expense report. And then we're also tying in any cash advances that were requested, issued, and approved. In this case, we have a zero dollar remaining amount, but that balance will completely, it'll kind of just deduct from itself as we apply any cash transactions uh, into this expense report. So just taking a look now at some of these audit rules uh, real quickly, right? How we're allowing you to fight this fraud, right? Fraud, intentional, unintentional, right? Whatever that may be, but we're building these audit rules and exceptions based on your travel and expense policy, right? So it's all based on what you want to see. The ability to build audit rules is extremely intuitive. It's easy to do, right? So from a managing standpoint, there's really never any uh, issue from there. In this case, we have some audit rules that are built. So this red icon is a hard stop. This yellow icon is a soft stop. Any hard stops, you can't submit an expense report. You have to reconcile those differences before it's even submitted. So in this case, we have a miscellaneous expense type and we need to provide a comment, right? And we must also attach a receipt image to this expense for any miscellaneous expense types. So we're gonna get that brought to our attention as a user that we have to reconcile this before submitting. As we come down the list here, right? Please use your corporate card when purchasing office supplies. We saw that on the, on the mobile side. We have that built into uh, this expense report as well. Another one here, uh, you received a fixed per diem travel allowance. This is what I like to typically go into. So what we're doing is being that you can take a picture of a hotel folio, right? Concur, we also offer things called e-receipts, which are, which are receipts that come in directly from certain travel providers. So say Marriott or United or Delta or Hilton, right? These hotel folios are being directly inputted and provided into our Concur profile. We could talk kind of a, a long time on that, but right, we'll, we'll keep it where it's at. But in that case, it brings in the itemizations. And what we're doing here is the system is intuitively recognizing the fact that we're receiving a dinner, uh, kind of a dinner allowance, right? We're receiving a dinner payback from a dinner that we had at the Town Place Suites Marriott. And that's being identified from this itemization. However, we're also receiving a fixed per diem travel allowance for this dinner as well can't claim both, right? So the system is picking that up and it's telling us that we have to mark this as personal so we don't receive two allowances. So we'd simply go ahead and save that off as personal. Obviously, depending on organization as well, mini bar, movie, alcohol, those are some transactions that we typically see in the public space, public sector space as being unallowable, right? So we've identified that and we mark those automatically as personal. So if we see any mini bar, movie, alcohol transactions come through, We'll mark that as personal if it's configured that way, you know, within your within your configuration. So you just don't have to, that onus doesn't fall on them to mark it as personal. We'll go ahead and do that for them automatically. Now we save this off, right? 
the ability to also see any comments that were attached. We can also see the payment type, so whether it's a cash out-of-pocket transaction or if it's a transaction coming in from a credit card, we'll see this card kind of card denotion uh, here as well. One thing I didn't note, right, is adding expenses. So there's any expenses that you typically, that you just don't have from a corporate card uh, and you need to add cash transactions, right? We're gonna bring in all of your expense types within our system, build that out within here, and have your users, you know, gain the ability to add any um, ad hoc cash expenses to their expense reports. Couple last things to note, right? The ability to allocate. So you can allocate all of your expenses. You can allocate certain line items. You can allocate those out based on, you know, cost object, project, department, whatever that may look like. Um, and then as a, as a user, you have the ability to also see your report timeline, right? So approval is big, right? Workflow automation, how can we create those efficiencies? Well, here we see all the steps that this expense report has to go through before it receives that final approval to ultimately get paid out on. So the user has visibility into that. So that's kind of it from an expense report perspective. Obviously there's a few other things within here, right? That we can spend time on, but those are, that's the major gist of just the ability, right? From an efficient standpoint, building your expense report. We like to say, have your expense reports build themselves because ultimately they are, right? When you're leveraging your mobile device and having those transactions come through and building your report for you. I won't jump into the approval standpoint. We, we saw that on the mobile device. Just know it's a pretty similar process on the desktop as well. Uh, from a manager perspective and approving that and pushing that through. So for the sake of time, we're gonna jump over into invoice, right? And that's kind of the nice thing about our solution here, right? From expense, jump over to invoice, and now we're having the ability to process, right? Process any invoices that have been assigned to us. So I'm logged in as my user, and these are all the invoices that have been assigned to my user, right? He's the invoice owner of these five invoices. So taking a step back, how do they get into the system, right? So the system, like, on the receipt side, where it uses OCR to pick up, take pictures of receipts and extract that information, it's also doing that on the invoice side. So you're scanning invoices in, you're faxing them, you're uploading in, your vendors are emailing them in. It's a few different ways to get them into the system, but ultimately once it does, it's gonna go through that OCR process, right? To validate, get those details off so your users don't have to type in these details manually. Ultimately, what that's gonna go ahead and do is be assigned to different invoice owners. It can route to you know, different uh, projects, different departments. It can route to the person who requested the goods, right? who created the purchase order. So little flexibility there. But in this case, we have five invoices here with also visibility into any audit rules or exceptions that are being fired. So within here, you'll see that this invoice is a duplicate invoice. And this vendor all, also offers an early payment discount. Right, so from a duplicate invoice perspective, you don't want two invoices floating out there, right? So the system can pick that up, recognize that, and bring that to the user's attention, right, to reconcile. Also from an early payment discount, you know, we want your organizations to take advantage of any early payment discounts, right? That's money back in your pocket. So if we can identify that from a vendor perspective, let's go ahead and do that, make that visible, and then ultimately push this through the workflow much quicker. At the same time, you'll see this bottom one, so match the PO. So once we have those POs that are being imported in from your financial system, that can simply come into the financial system, match up with an invoice that came in from OCR. And if everything checks out, right, two-way match is all good, it can ultimately be assigned, right, up the chain, up to the approval process to eventually be paid out on in a really short time span. So we're looking at reducing that total processing time for your invoices. I do wanna to jump to this top one though really quick, just to show you all what that looks like um, from you know, any three-way matches that have been kicked out, right? So in this case, we have an invoice, we have our goods receipt information, and we have our purchase order, and there's an issue going on with that three-way match. So if we jump into this specific invoice, right? I will jump into the matching summary, but before I do that, you'll notice the invoice image on the right-hand side. So this Im image was brought in, like I mentioned, a few different ways, right, into the system. It underwent that OCR, um, AI and machine learning kind of analysis, and then ultimately brought these invoice details in automatically. So things like the invoice name, the number, the date, the amount, shipping, tax, all of this theoretically, are fields that would be inputted automatically from that OCR. 
We're also looking at the vendor information, right? Because you're not just going to go out and pay any vendors, right, that you receive an invoice for. So this is matching up with your vendor master list. And that single source of truth is typically held within your financial system. So we're bringing in your vendor master list into Concur and verifying that this is an actual and authorized and approved vendor to be purchasing from. The OCR is going to take it a step further. And at the bottom, this itemization summary, it's going to be able to bring in your expense types, your line descriptions, your quantity, unit price, and total, as well as bring in any allocations that were set maybe on the purchase order. So any allocations that you set from a financial system on the purchase order, it's going to be carried through to the invoice. It can be carried through, or maybe if it's a non-PO invoice, you can go ahead and, and create those allocations separately, uh, either by line item for each line item on the invoice or uh, from an invoice header perspective on the total. So this matching summary, we look to the right, we'll see what's kicking out here. We ordered eight, we were invoiced for eight, but we only received seven, right, on this battery item, number four. So that's something that we have to go ahead and reconcile, right? Reach out to the vendor, reconcile this, and ultimately clear out this exception that we're seeing at the top. We can also do that by just also looking at the purchase order if we want just another set of eyes on it. So we'll have your purchase order come through, your invoice. We have the invoice PO matching summary all within three tabs for you to easily toggle back and forth to. And then that's it really from an invoice owner perspective, right? A few other details, nuanced in here, um, but ultimately we can submit this invoice and push this through uh, that workflow automation. So I'm going to transition over from an approval perspective. So now I'm in as my manager, right? I'm going to look at, jump into approvals. So concur, we're all role-based, right? It's all permission-based. So in this case, my manager has, has the ability to approve things, right? But the user doesn't have the ability to do so. So if we jump in to invoices and jump into this top invoice, just want to show you really quick what that looks like from a manager's perspective. We'll see all the similar details here, right? So we have that invoice, we have that PO, and we have this matching summary to reconcile and then ultimately decide if, if this is good to be approved. We also have the itemization summary and any comments that might have been associated with this invoice, we're also going to have visibility into. If everything checks out though, uh, we can approve it. If not, we can send it back to the employee with any comments, uh, anything that needs to be adjusted, um, you know, to ultimately then be continued to be pushed through. So real quickly, um, just want to show you before we jump back into the PowerPoint to look at reporting for a few minutes um, from an invoice manager perspective, right? So think about your users, your invoice owners, pushing this through to a manager for approval. And then we have this final step in the workflow. And this is just how we designated at Concur. But we have that final step as being a processor, an administrator, right? Someone at that very high level head that's ultimately going to go ahead and push this through for final payment. So here, as that, uh, that administrator, processor, you have visibility into really every single living invoice within Concur, right? To provide you visibility within one place. You have visibility into all exceptions, uh, any variances. Uh, you can also see any unapproved invoices, any unsubmitted invoices. So you're able to really see where any invoice is at um, in the workflow cycle, which is great, right? We're all working from home these days. A lot of invoices are, are manual, they're paper, right? So here you have the ability to see all invoices in the system and what's going on with them at any given time. You can query on different things on the left. So you'll see any unsubmitted invoices, unpaid, any invoices that are pending review, right? You can also create different queries. And then from an approval status perspective, see the approval status. So in this case, all of these are the non-submitted invoices. If we look at maybe any invoices that are pending uh, let's see any unapproved invoices, we'll see where they're at in that, in that life cycle. Ultimately, this is the point where you would go ahead, review the invoice, and then push this off for final payment, right? So we're going to send these invoices back to your financial system ERP for, for final payment. All right, so I'm going to jump back into PowerPoint. Any questions on what we just looked at? They don't have any questions just yet coming up in the chat. Cool. All right, we'll keep going then. So I do want to take a few of these last minutes that I that I have here to look at reporting, right? It's quite frankly my favorite part of the SAP Concur solution and really the most advantageous part 
of having all of your connected AP spend data in one place. So we provide this by giving your organization roughly over 200 uh, out of the box expense, or sorry, out of the box reports in general that are really gonna take command of all of your spend. So we realize that all of your organization's spend is unique. So really these reports can be configured to meet them should you desire with really no report writing experience. But by giving you these 200 created reports, they're ready to go. They don't need to be built or tested. They can also be bursted out. So really only relevant managers or executives would see the data that's important to them when they want it. And honestly, you can view it from wherever you want. So whether you're on a smartphone, tablet, in the browser, right, you're gonna have the ability to track these metrics, track these analytics, um, whether you're by your computer or on your phone. So just taking a look at a few examples here, right? There's 200 plus, I'm not gonna go through anything near that, but um, just to take a look at a few of these valuable ones we have within here, this is a program performance dashboard for your invoice management overview. Uh, it's pulling all of your intelligent invoice solution really into one view with a single accurate snapshot of your invoice data. So it's gonna provide things, you know, your detailed reports, dashboards, analytics, it's gonna make it really easy for you to take action and control your spend the right way. So this is a dashboard view, so it can be customized. It's really a compilation of the most important reports for a specific department or individual. So if reports such as aging payables and total invoice spend are most important to you, you can build your own custom dashboard and then burst these reports out to yourself on an automated consistent basis. So I mean daily, weekly, monthly, really whatever that looks like for you. And further, you can drill into the data behind each of these reports too, which is obviously convenient as they're all comprised of different data elements and then layers, of course. So I know I mentioned we offer over 200 plus reports. Here are some of the other examples of those reports at your fingertips, really upon go live within Concur. So these can be customized, they can be amended, lifted, shifted, right? Whatever that looks like to meet your organization's needs all with the click of a few buttons. As I said before, no coding, no deep writing experience is required whatsoever to get these going. So this next report here uh, allows you to manage any accruals extremely easily. Um, so as, a, as an accountant and former auditor myself, I know accruals are really nothing short of a pain, especially when you're working with uh, your banking institution's reconciliation system and matching that with a manual AP process. So, here you can manage accruals to cut down on month end close time drastically, right? You can understand your accruals more accurately, so you can budget and then forecast uh, more efficiently. And then lastly, right, so bringing all of your expense and invoice spend together. So when we talk about, you know, my favorite part of the solution here is just having one platform to track and manage all of your travel, all of your expense and all of your invoice spend. And it really proves to be a huge differentiator for our customers. So I hope, I hope that everyone can see that, that value here. But with that, um, thank you. Thank you so much.